This is Tiwanaka, pearl of the fabulous empire of the Incas, kingdom of the cruel Atahualpa, who put to death anyone who rebelled against his harsh dictatorship. And this is an Inca warrior, a lover of liberty who has fallen into Atahualpa's hands. After being sacrificed to the sun god in a propitiatory rite, he is brought forth and laid upon the sacred stone to serve as a warning to the other warriors who have taken refuge in the forest and were fighting for their freedom until a stranger from another world is shipwrecked upon their coast. Diomedes. Stranger, you fought with the valor of a great chieftain. Who are you? What's your name? Hercules. Tell me how I can thank you. You have no need to thank us. We would have done this in any case. 
All of these men who attacked you were mortal enemies of mine and of my people. Your warriors have saved my life. Who are you? What land have I come to? You are in the land of the sun. I am Mytha, the son of King Waskar, the lord of the Incas. You must come from far away. I have never seen a man like you. Your skin is white. Your hair and weapons are not like ours. You told me your name is Hercules, didn't you? Very well. We'll take you to our village where you'll be my guest. I'll answer for him. Don't worry. Come on. I must find another ship and set out to sea, Prince Mytha. The Incas are not a seafaring people. But I promise you that you shall have a new ship if I succeed in restoring my father to his rightful throne, which his brother Atahualpa usurped. And I hope to do it soon, with the help of the sun god and my faithful warriors. Out on my sword from now on. What land do you come from? How did you get here? Our ship was wrecked by a storm at sea and I was cast ashore. But what is your native land? Hellas. That's a place I've never heard of before. Is it far to your home? Across the ocean, Prince Mytha. Perhaps one of my companions or I myself offended the sea god whose name is Neptune. The winds and the waves drove my ship for months across unknown seas. I never caught sight of land until, as I told you, a tremendous storm destroyed my ship and swept all of my companions into the sea. It was a terrible tragedy. The village of Juanica is on fire, Prince Mytha. Hurry! Search the ruins! See if there are any survivors. We'll take you away from no, here. I want to stay here. This is my home. Come. You can't stay here. No. We'll take care of you. Atahualpa's soldiers. There's no limit to the cruelty of a raging madman, but one day we'll have our revenge. And that day I'll be at your side, Mytha. Thank you, Hercules. Suki, come here. Take this woman to the village of Chichawa. And be careful. Save it 
won't you? Let's get her out. Let go of me! Let go of me! Mama! Mama! Audra will have no one to turn to. So I beg you, don't leave him all alone I here. Promise will you, you promise me, my prince? I know I'm dying. I won't leave him here. Promise me that you will keep him close to you, like a son of your own. I beg you, Prince Smile. Mama! Mama! What will we do with the boy? We're taking him with us. Since Atahualpa usurped the throne from my father, my faithful followers and I have lived in hiding, waiting for the day he is overthrown. But many of them are beginning to lose heart in our struggle. That's why I have to stay among them and try to encourage them. Is your father here too? No. On his return from an expedition to one of our provinces, my father and my sister Hamara were arrested by his own bodyguard. The guard had been bribed by Atahualpa. I understand your fears, but we'll find a way to set them both free with the help of the gods. This is where my people live. Come on. Welcome, Prince Mytha. Long live the Prince of the Incas. That is Viracocha, the great sun god. We are the children of the sun. He is venerated by all of the Incas. He controls the destiny of my people. I hope he will help me to return to my land one day. Our sun god Viracocha will guide you there. Greetings to Prince Maitha. May Viracocha be with you and your men. What brings you here, Chaco? We've been driven out of our mountains. That dog out of Walpa won't leave us in peace. He's made our life impossible. I know. This stranger is Hercules. His own land lies across the great ocean. He was shipwrecked and cast ashore near here. And he's the strongest man I've ever seen in all my life anywhere. Then you're a mountaineer. You're wrong, Chaco. Listen, stranger, if you're not a mountaineer, you can't be very strong. Are you so sure? I'll find out. Only mountaineers are stronger and graver than other men. Ready? Yes. Then catch this. Come on, defend yourself. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Come on, get up, Chaco. Prince Mipha told the truth. You are strong, really strong. I can't believe you're not a mountaineer. I'm not, and that's the truth. Well, for me, you're a mountaineer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Mitha! Prince Mitha! A messenger from Tijuanaca, your sister, Hamara. What is it? The messenger is dying. He will speak only to you. What news have you brought me? I bring news of the princess, Hamara. She's to be sacrificed to the sun god tomorrow night. If you only hurry, you can save her. Before it's too late. He's dead. We must save her. Where will the sacrifice take place? On the sacred rock at Tiwanaka. We must decide what to do at once. How far is the sacred rock? It's a long day's march from here. Let's work out a plan. Secret passage should be near here. There it is. It starts here. How do you expect us to use it, Griog, if the entrance is blocked? That boulder weighs too much. We'll never be able to move it. How are we going to get into the city? Let me try. What's wrong with you, my queen? The spectacle is not to your liking. Control yourself. All hail our king Atahualpa, the Inca, twice king under the sun. All hail. All hail our king Atahualpa, our only lord, one and omnipotent, sovereign king of the Incas. O oh, Wanascari, O oh, almighty Viracocha, greatest of gods, sun god of the Incas, lord of the heavens and of the earth, Father and creator of all the world, turn your face forever upon us. We pray that your divine son, the Inca, twice king under the sun, shall be worthy of you and of your glorious rays. Grant his warriors... Atahualpa, give this careful Grant thought. 
Don't let the archer release the fatal arrow. The same blood as yours flows in her veins. Her life depends on one signal from you. Have you forgotten that I am king of the Incas? And if I failed to give that signal, I would be the lowest of the children of the sun god. Our religion tells us to do this. It says the more noble the blood of the victim is, the greater the favor and the benefits he bestows on his people. The people? Do you think this sacrifice is what the people want? May the great sun god forgive you for this. O oh, sun god, grant us all the blessings of this earth. Graciously accept this victim on your altar as a sacrifice in your honor and give us all we require to live. We offer you, O oh, almighty Veracocha, the heart's blood of this royal virgin who will bear on high the favor we beseech of you. We entrust our prayers to a noble messenger and from the moment she is sacrificed, we shall worship her as a goddess. O oh, almighty Veracocha, greatest of gods, sun god of the Incas, guide with your hand now the fatal course of the archer's arrow. The great sun god wishes the sacrifice of our cousin so that the sacred Inca blood will flow in my veins alone and in those of my children and the children of my children. Now we shall give back to the mighty Viracocha the sacred blood of this virgin of the sun before it is contaminated by the crimes of her wicked father. Soldier on guard. I'll take care of him.
that the altar charcoal? Yes. She's about to shoot the arrow. Be ready. those rebels. entire guard overcome by a handful of outlaws. Any sign of them? No. What a great fighter. That man must really be the son of a god. 
If he's half as lucky as he is strong, he'll get away. He should be along any minute. Who is that stranger with you? Where is he from? His name is Hercules. He came by sea. He said his ship was wrecked by a great storm. I owe that man my life. What did you say his name was? <laughs> I said his name was Hercules. Hercules. That's it. Keep your eyes open. There they are. Amara, come on. Good for you. I see you made it. We must hurry. This way. Keep a sharp lookout ahead. You didn't know me, and yet you risked your life to save mine. I made a promise to your brother. You must take care of your shoulder right away. It's bleeding. I wasn't aware of it. How could you expect him to be aware of it, Princess Hamara? <laughs> Before he needs care, he'd have to be wounded much worse than that. I'm beginning to think he's indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Come in to me. So today you've come to see me again, my little friend. You who are so happy and free. It's good of you to take an interest in this poor old king in his prison. In your heart there is more kindness and loyalty to the king I am than in the stony hearts of men. Why, do you know what I believe you are? I think you are also a king. You are a king who enjoys his freedom and his royal robe of feathers. I was robbed of both by my enemies. You are much more fortunate than King Waskar, the son of the sun. Inca of the Incas. They called me twice king. Hmm. A king whose people are cowards and flatterers, bowing to their knees and kissing the ground in front of the first imposter who succeeds through treachery and seating himself on the throne. Who are you talking to, old man? Not to you, soldier. I am speaking with another king. Come back, little king. I wish you could tell me where you're flying. I hope to see you again. I've told him you are a king. Double the guard. And remember, you'll answer for him with your own head. Waskar, your son Mitha has committed worse than rebellion. A band of those filthy cowards who hide their heads in their forest den broke into the city last night. They made off with your daughter Hamara and prevented me from making a sacrifice of her to the sun god, as I had promised. Tremble for your life. The mercy I have shown you up till now has been transformed into rage. And soon you'll learn what it means to enrage Atahualpa. If that band of cowards, as you call them, rescued Hamara from under your very nose, then I would say that those cowards are much braver than your bodyguards. But why don't you go after them yourself, mighty prince of the valorous Incas, 
son of the sun, why don't you go yourself into their forest lair and recover the victim you were vowed to sacrifice to your god? Or would you by chance be afraid? That's what I intend to do once my warriors return from an expedition against the Hurins. The forest then will become an enormous bonfire. The lucky ones will perish amid the flame. The others will be dragged here in chains. And on that day, we'll perform one of the most dazzling sacrifices the Incas have seen in all our history. And when I get to you, I'll throw you to my jaguars with your children to ensure that not a single drop of your precious blood is wasted for nothing. Take this, my king. So it's you, you traitor. I'll make the lot of you crawl at my feet like the serpents you are. Force him to kneel in front of his king. No. On your knees. Do as you're told. Uh. I'll teach you to respect your king. Put him on the torture rack. Wait a moment. Leave him alone. I want to be merciful with you. I want to offer you one last chance to save your life. Tell me where I can lay hands on the rebels in hiding with Mitha, and I will give you your life in exchange. Remember that I am the Inca now, the king of kings and your lord and master. Come, tell me where they are hiding. Or would you prefer to have my guards drag the secret out of you on the rack? Well, speak up. Make up your mind. Obey your king's orders, or I'll break your bones. Take your hands off me, you snake. Your brutal threats are a sign of your desperation. You know you're not the true king. The noble Waskar is our king. You're the one who's a filthy traitor, Athawalpa. You'll never learn from me where to find Prince Maitha. He is secure in the protection of those still loyal to him, and not one will reveal to you where he is. And just when you're least expecting it, you're going to be attacked, and then you will die when he's dragged you from his father's throne that you usurped from him. Torture this traitor! I'll never betray my king! <laughs> Oh. Stubborn fool. He took his life for a lost cause. Priyag! Priyag! Oh. oh, my brother! Oh, my poor brother! You've murdered my brother! Murdered! He was my only brother! You killed the last of my family! He killed himself. I didn't do it. him too, the way you murder everyone and anyone who opposes you. And you think that you're a king, Atahualpa? No! You're a bloodthirsty tyrant and the people hate you. You drown every decent human instinct in a sea of blood and I hate you with all my soul. I loathe you! I loathe you, you murderer! Don't murderer! forget that you are the queen of this blood-soaked kingdom! Oh! No! soldiers of Atahualpa are mostly in the Huri province. If we had only more warriors in our own ranks, this would be a good moment to attack the city. But the city is heavily fortified, and a single mishap on our part might lead to the massacre of all our men. Prince Maitha, Princess Hamara has been rescued. Oh, my God. 
Adler. Tamara. Glory be to Viracocha, you're safe now. Thanks to these brave men and to Hercules, who offered to help us with his superhuman strength at such a difficult time. And that mighty weapon he calls a sword. Uh. People of the Incas, today is a day of rejoicing for all of us. The sun god has granted us the return of our princess, the daughter of Huascar, my beloved sister Hamara, the royal virgin of the sun. I've no doubt that it was Viracocha who willed that Hercules be shipwrecked and cast upon our shores, because it is principally to his courage that we owe her liberation. The populace of Tiwanaka is still on our side, but our fighting forces, if we strike now, are still outnumbered ten to one. With our trust in Viracocha, who is the greatest of the gods, the sun god, surely someday we will again enter the gates of our capital. But for as long as my father, our sole and legitimate King Huascar, is still a prisoner of Atahualpa's, we must be very cautious and act prudently, because if we should make the slightest mistake, it would probably mean his death. My prince, noble and brave friends, with a hundred of these arms, we could conquer Tiwanaka. But Tiwanaka can also be conquered with strategy. If you will do as I say, we will be inside Tiwanaka before our enemies know what's happened to them. That's certain. On to Tiwanaka! Warriors, listen to me. Listen to me. The greater part of the warriors of Atahualpa are now in the distant province of the Huries. Perhaps we will never be offered an occasion better than this for us to reconquer our capital. But it is necessary that such a great decision as this be made in a council of the caciques and our chieftains. I summon you to assemble at once in my tent, and we will decide together whether to take up arms against the usurper. Erize, welcome to our village, Princess Hamara. Thank you, Erize. Understand the situation we're in, my friends? Nearly one half the fighting forces the usurper can count on are now away from Tiwanaka, and we can be certain they will stay away until the season of heavy rains is over. Our warriors could attack the remainder, but our forces are still heavily outnumbered by those led by Atahualpa. Now Hercules says that with strategy and by using our wits, we can still conquer Tiwanaka. Let's hear his plan. My people are masters of the art of warfare. We use strategy when force fails us. Intelligence is what counts if we place our confidence in it. We can arrange it so that each of our warriors, by using his intelligence, will be worth at least five of the others. I have confidence in Hercules, and I have confidence in the courage and intelligence of our people. So I propose that we march at once on Tiwanaka. We must not permit our eagerness to lead our valiant warriors to be slaughtered like cattle under the treacherous heights of the fortifications of Tiwanaka. You will regret this if you try it, Maitha. It would be a grave mistake. Refuse it. Hercules has given us proof of his valor and his ability. I also have confidence in him. And I'm sure if we carry out his plan as he tells us, the great sun god will assist us. Well, Hercules, you have asked us to trust to our intelligence and to strategy, but you haven't explained how each one of ours can be worth at least five of Atahualpa's men, and above all, how we are to approach and overcome the city's battlements. It's strange. I haven't seen a wheel since I've been in your country. Do you know what a wheel is? Wheel? A wheel? What is a wheel? With wheels, you can move your village right up to the walls of Tiwanaka and still stay safely in your houses. Do you understand? Move the village? The houses? With wheels? Yes, with wheels. With wheels, we can make a great tower filled with warriors to move to Tiwanaka and stand against the walls. I'll also teach you how to build other machines. War machines that will spread death among your enemies. Let's march on Tiwanaka! To Tiwanaka! Tiwanaka! May to the Tiwanaka! great sun god give strength and victory to our valiant warriors. Then it's agreed to Tiwanaka! To Tiwanaka! To Tiwanaka! To Tiwanaka! To Tiwanaka! I summon you together, Inca warriors. Hear your prince explain the decision that has been reached in the council of war. Listen closely, friends. This is the decision made by your chieftains. We'll prepare to march on Tiwanaka!
<laughs> Hercules, this festival has been arranged by the people to show you how grateful they are because you saved me from certain death.
there and smile. I've never seen animals like this before in my whole life. We call them llamas. They live in highlands on our mountainside, and we have many uses for them. Is it true you're going to try to reconquer Tiwanaka? Yes, Amara. How soon will you be leaving? As soon as we're ready. We have to build machines for war. The wound in your shoulder hasn't healed yet. Do you care, Hamara? Come with me. I'll take care of it for you. Don't be bashful. Didn't you want to take care of my wound? Yes. Does this hurt much? No. Is your land far away from here? Yes, it's very far. Very far. Across the boundless seas. Are the women in your land very beautiful? Yes, very. Just like you. Your wound ought to be completely healed before long. I think it's healed already. When will you leave for Tijuanaca, Hercules? I told you. Just as soon as our war machines are ready. Tie those knots tighter. That's right. How's it going? We're getting there, Hercules. Be sure those braces are strong enough. Don't worry. That's the way. Yes, Adro. I'm proud of the way it's done. Something troubling you, Hercules? Yes, tomorrow is the great day. I'm always sad just before a battle. I think about the ones who will never return. Yes, I understand. And you're perfectly right. War is a cruel and monstrous thing. All men should learn to live together in peace forever. But to be able to live forever in peace, all men would have to be just. 
When threatened with injustice, men sometimes have to take up arms and fight. I'm so afraid. I'm afraid for my brother. I'm afraid for you. Oh, let's forget our fears on such a beautiful morning. All nature is speaking to us now of the joy of living and of loving. You know, Hercules, your eyes are different from ours. They're like the blue sky over the mountains. Is it true you're the son of a god? Yes, Hamara. In that case, you too are a prince. In my own land. And tell me, aren't you ever homesick for your own people? Yes. Sometimes I am. But not when you smile at me. It's getting late. Let's go back to the village. Please, I'd like to stay here a little longer. I have something else I want to tell you, Hamara. Let's not think about the war. Here. Forgive me, Great Inca. Speak up. What is this alarm? Prince Mitha's army is preparing to attack the walls. Are you out of your mind? At last, he's offering us a perfect opportunity to destroy him. Now you will see what sort of king Atahualpa is. Come with me. them there at the edge of the forest. What am I to do, my lord? Offer no resistance until they reach the wall. When they do, flatten them with arrows and javelins. We'll see to it that they meet the fate every rebel deserves. And we will crush them like a swarm of ants. We will, great king. Hold your tongue. Obey your orders, that's all. What are your orders, Prince Mitha? Hercules suggests we send the war machines in first and warn the men to keep behind them. The rest will attack at the second signal. Your great day has come at last, Prince Mitha. You will set your people free from the tyranny of Atahualpa. I'll take revenge myself for all the oppression they've suffered. I hope that we find my father alive and unharmed. It's one of our people's beliefs that the chieftains should always touch the javelin of their king for good luck before they go into battle. Touch it for luck, Hercules. Good luck, Mitha. And may your sun god grant us victory. 
You know, Hercules, I never thought we'd get those towers here. Today we'll show you the sort of fighting men the Inca warriors are. All right. Wait for me to give the order. Take aim, all bowmen. First the arrows, then the javelins. Machines forward! Come on with that catapult. pretty little friend. Outside, a great battle is raging. Those are the shouts of warriors, and here I am in this cell, where I am helpless and can do nothing at all, nothing to help my loyal friends, my beloved people. But perhaps there is still something I can do to remove a great obstacle from their path to victory. Now listen to me carefully. If my son Mytha fights his way into the city with his warriors, Atahualpa has one way left to defeat them in this battle, and that is by threatening to kill me before their eyes. Now, you see, this would be impossible for him to do if I were already dead. Don't you agree? Tell me this is right. Oh! Oh! Thank <laughs> you. 
Leave me alone with him. Oscar has tricked us. He was found dead in his cell. He used this to kill himself. May the gods will that Huasca be the last of the victims of Atahualpa. There was a king who knew how to die. Don't you think that's true? Your sullen hatred makes you forget that your fate is linked with the one that overtakes Atahualpa as well as his loyal followers. I will not endure the fate of the others. I am most curious about the origin of this lethal weapon and who gave it to King Huascar. Have you any idea who it was? To my sorrow, I must admit that it was not I. But if the god of Viracocha requires a woman as the victim of one of your great sacrifices, you may say then that it was I who did so. It has never been the practice of the high priest and the people of the Incas to sacrifice anyone who did not commit an offense. Have you committed an offense? The practices of King Atahualpa are such that it is of no importance whether one commits an offense or not to be sacrificed. Not even you may criticize the King of the Incas. When was he King of the Incas?
answer for your crimes, Dr. Falker. I want to see if you know how to die like a man. You, who never once behaved like a king. I will not afford you such a pleasure. Since you are my wife, you must go before me into the kingdom of the gods. And I shall have the joy of sending you there myself. Ah! Defend yourself, Otto Alpha! My dying curses on you all, traitors and cowards, the empire of the children of the sun perishes with me. The sun god protect King Mitha, the Inca twice king under the sun, beloved of Viracocha, and grant glory and prosperity to all his people forever. 